What's going on, everybody? Today we'll talk a little bit about the Summoner's Sigil, since Kabam just gave everyone seven days of free access to it. Now, I know a lot of you already know all the perks that you get with the Summoner's Sigil, since it is one of the better values in this game. For $10 a month, or whatever that translates to regionally, uh, you get about $10 worth of units, along with a bunch of other perks. So it's kind of a no-brainer if you're already spending money on units in this game. But for those of us free-to-play players that don't normally have access to this thing, I was kind of curious, what can I take advantage of? And I want to make sure that you guys are getting the most out of your free 7 days with the Sigil as well. So let's go through it. There's, there's a few perks to go through, and then the Black ISO market is... Uh, you know, there's some good value in there, and then there's some things that I recommend staying away from. So let's let's start with the uh, the obvious perks, though. Uh, the first one here is the seven day solo event, which is test of the cavalier or test of the uncollected, test of the proven, whatever your story progression title is. All of the sigil rewards are based off of story progression, uh, and this event is always here whether you have the sigil or not. And Kabam is always like, hey, look at this event that you're doing such a good job is. Don't you want to get the sigil so you can get these sweet rewards? Uh, and now we can actually get these sweet rewards, so it's awesome. A uh, bunch of free units, energy refill, which as far as I'm concerned, that is just a 30 unit value right there, man. And some shards and things like that. So again, it's based on story progression, so you might your rewards might look different if you're not Cavalier yet. And the way to get points is just by playing the game. Uh, Kabam couldn't make this any easier. Look at that. You get points just for spending your energy in this game. You don't even have to win the fight. Just spend energy. Um, so yeah, just play the game naturally. And you should be good there. The next thing to talk about is in the daily quests. Whoops, I went to regular event quest. If you go to the daily quests, it's the Golden Circle. And the Golden Circle, it is, uh, you know, once again, based on story progression. For Cavalier, you get 125,000 gold. I think Uncollected is like a hundred thousand or something like that either way it's, it's a pretty good amount of gold and something to take note of here is this is something I tested out on the McFabio account if you do this quest and then get the next title from the story quest as soon as you get that title this quest will reset so you can double up on this quest make sure that if you're close to getting uh, uncollected or cavalier or whatever do this quest first then uh, you know get the title that way you can double up on it now regardless everyone's going to be able to double up on this quest since it resets in two days. Same thing with the um, the seven day solo event. It actually resets in two days, so we'll have time to get these bonuses twice. Uh, and the quest itself here, um, it couldn't be easier. It doesn't cost any energy to move. And the gold pool, he's not a tough fight. Uh, sometimes the nodes are randomized, so sometimes maybe he'll spawn with some nodes that you don't have the champions to deal with. Uh, like for example, this one has aggression regen. And maybe maybe you have a void, but maybe he's locked in some other quest. Um, that's okay. If you don't want to fight him with those nodes, you can actually just end quest. And then if we go back into the quest, uh, then you can see that it will actually change the nodes. Um, so yeah, no more aggression regen. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's not that tough a fight anyway. If you take in your five best champions, it's going to be uh, an easy time. But... Uh, if you don't like the nodes, before using revives and potions and things like that, just reset it. It doesn't cost any energy to walk up to them and try the fight again. Alright, the next thing I want to talk about is the Black ISO Market. So, Black ISO Market. I already bought a lot of things in the Black ISO Market, so we can't even see all of the, uh, all the different purchasing uh, costs for all of these things. Um, most of the things in the Black ISO Market are a good value. Uh, but there are a few standouts. So the first one here is the featured uh, five-star hero crystal, which I don't recommend everyone buying. Uh, it, it's it's based on story progression as for the, the price of it. If you're Cavalier, it's 11,000 five-star shards, so it's only an extra thousand shards. And even then, I don't consider it an automatic purchase. Um, the basic pool of champions has some incredible champions in it. Uh, Actually, the basic pool uh, has stronger champions than this featured crystal. The reason why I did purchase the featured crystal is because there's some exclusives that are not in the basic in this one, which are Abomination, uh, Doctor Strange, Electro. Um, otherwise, yeah, I generally don't pick up the featured crystal. Um, I would also really be psyched if I got Mojo. That would be awesome. Uh, this resets in two days, and I am going to... Uh, purchase another one. I haven't opened it yet. I'm going to pop them both at the same time. But anyway, 
for a lot of players, I don't recommend going featured crystals. Uh, you know, j just because it has the word featured on it doesn't necessarily mean it's it's better. You know, it's it's kind of uh, I don't know. I don't want to say false advertising, but it's it's one of those things that I think tricks people just because they see the word featured. They're like, oh wow, it's only a little bit of extra shards, but a little bit of extra shards for something that's potentially worse. Um, I yeah I. For most people, I don't recommend getting this, um, especially if it's uh, a it's more expensive than 11,000 shards because for some people it's 13,000, uh, or B, you don't have that many five-star heroes where uh, the later you get in this game, Kabam really kind of, uh, the, the content demands that you have a more diverse roster. Uh, to get through the different variants, to, to get through Act 6, things like that. You need a lot of 5 stars. Uh, and of course you need some good 5 stars, but in the in the process of expanding your 5 star roster, you will get a lot of the good champions. And yeah, I recommend just popping open as many of the basic 5 stars as you possibly can and going that route rather than picking up feature crystals. Now, it is a case-by-case -case basis, and like I said, sometimes... Like in my case here, it is a good idea to pick up this featured five-star crystal, but for a lot of people, I think it's something to avoid. I think it's I think it's a trap. Maybe that's a good word for it. It's the featured trap. Uh, I think back to, uh, to to the movie Tommy Boy, where I think uh, he was trying to you know he's trying to sell his uh, his brake pads or whatever, and the guy was like, "Hey, uh, your box doesn't have a guarantee on it." And, uh, you know, Chris Farley's character was like, well, I could take a crap in a box and slap the word guarantee on it, but that doesn't mean it's, it's good. And that is how I consider the five-star uh, featured crystal. I don't think it's, it's usually a, a good thing to purchase. But the rest of the stuff here, uh, of course, the mastery cores are discounted. That's great. Uh, the class catalyst selectors, these can be good, but make sure you know which class catalyst you want before you purchase this since as soon as you purchase it uh here we'll do it you have to it's it's gonna just pop right up and show you which one you and oh i didn't i didn't check beforehand i don't know which one i need so yeah if you need these things then sure pick it up but otherwise um you don't really need to do the trade-in uh the all this all the stuff that i that i bought already i think is a good value um, but we, as we get to the bottom here, there's three other things that I want to call out that I don't think are good values. One is to get this tier 4 class catalyst crystal, uh, it takes three tier 4 basics. Come on, man, that's a terrible value. <laughs> like, three tier 4 basics? The only way I could see this being good is if you don't have enough gold to actually use all the, all the tier 4 basics that you currently have. Um, then okay, rather than them expiring, you might as well trade them in to get your class catalyst crystal, but it's not even a selector. You don't even get to pick which class type to get, so um, yeah, I don't recommend players uh, do that trade-in. Uh, and then we have this one here, which uh, it's kind of the same situation. It's a very small amount of tier 2 alpha fragments that you get, and it costs tier 1 alphas to trade them in. Like, this is a terrible value, but... If you have tier 1 alphas that are expiring, then okay, rather than just lose them uh, or sell them for a lesser amount, you might as well do the trade-in. Uh, and then we have this one, which uh, this, this might, I don't know, th some people might might like this trade. I personally don't like it, though. It's, two th it's a full 4-star crystal for 1,000 5-star shards, which I think... There are some people that this might make sense for if you are, uh, if you pop open a bunch of Cavalier crystals already anyway, and you just have no need for four stars or the ISO that comes from them, um, then okay, might as well get some extra five star shards out of it, I guess. But for a lot of people, ISO is a hard thing to get in this game. And I could see doing this trade if they gave more 5-star shards, but to give up those ISO bricks for such a small amount of extra 5-star shards, I think it's a terrible value. Uh, I mean, you know, when you open up a 4-star crystal, you're either getting a brand new 4-star, which is nice, meaning that you can duplicate them later and get ISO out of them, even if you're not getting ISO in that specific instance, uh, or you're duping the champ, which gives you the ISO and 275 5-star shards, or you dupe the champ and you get a max sig crystal, which means along with the ISO, you essentially get 555 star shards. So just the what you gain here in terms of shards, it's such a poor value. I yeah, I don't recommend it for most people. Like I said, for some people maybe it'll make sense, but for most, 
I, I can see the majority of people buying this just because they have 9,000 five-star shards and they don't want to be patient, uh, so they pick this up. But be patient, people. It's it's worth it. Patience goes a long way in this game. Um, this legendary crystal, however, I do think is a good value. Maybe not for everybody. Uh, it, it costs it costs 5,000 four-star shards, and yeah, it's a 20% chance at a five-star. Now, I do have ISO needs. But right now I'm uh, relatively okay on ISO, so I'm I'm happy making that gamble uh, for a 20% chance at a five star for an extra 3,000, um, you know, four star shards. I think that this is a better gamble than uh, a, a better a better trade off compared to the you know trading in four star shards for five star shards. Um, so I do like this one. Worst case scenario, you just paid an extra 3,000. You know, four star uh, shards to get a four star, which, like I said, man, it's if you need the ISO, no, just pop open four star crystals. But uh, because I'm all right on it, I th I think this is a better value. So I did pick up the legendary crystal. Uh, okay, and that's pretty much it. I mean, like I said, everything else is a pretty good value. There's just a few of those things to to watch out for. Uh, the rest of the uh, the rewards in the sigil. Uh, it's, in, I mean, they're pretty sm they're pretty minor. Like this, you get 20% extra experience. This does stack with the experience boost, but it's not something that you can really be like, oh wow, 20% ex extra experience. Let me take advantage of it. No, it's just a little bit of bonus bonus experience. Um, another thing is the uh, the uh, catalyst. They have a higher cap to them. Same thing with the inventory, um, the amount of ISO you can hold, all that stuff. The cap is increased a little bit. Uh, it only lasts for seven days though, and sure, you can if you have things in the overflow, you can claim that stuff. And uh, once the sigil goes away, uh, I believe it. I believe it keeps you over the cap. I actually can't remember that, but see the tier four basics. Normally, it has a, a cap of 15, and I think it'll stay at 19 out of 15 until I go to use them, of course. Um, but. Yeah, you might as well take that stuff if you have anything in the overflow. Now might be a good time. Like, before the sigil goes away, I'm probably going to pop open some Tier 4 class catalyst. Um, just just so that, you know, I can get the class type that I need without being too worried about things expiring. So, might want to might want to do some of those things. But, again, it only lasts for 7 days, so nothing uh, huge to take advantage of. And then, uh, quest energy... Uh, this is also a bit better. Instead of gaining energy every six minutes, you gain one energy every five minutes. So if you have uh, 70 energy, normally it would take seven hours for this to fully recharge. And uh, currently it's going to take a little bit under six hours for it to fully recharge. Um, it, it, yeah, so it's, if you, you know, just something else to take note of, I guess, if you're spending your energy throughout the day. Sometimes I like to uh, dump my energy and then... Uh, I don't really do this so much anymore, but I used to do this. I used to set an alarm for like seven hours later. This way I'm not like thinking about the game. I could just forget about it and then the alarm goes off and I'd be like, oh, cool. My energy's capped out. Uh, so yeah, I also I also don't keep in-game notifications on. So those of you that have the, the notifications on, maybe that's just automatic for you guys. But regardless, um, something else to note. And that's pretty much it, man. Like I said, the sigil, it's, it's normally a pretty good value. Uh, smart on Kabam's part to uh, to give us the free trial, especially it's got people making videos about it and stuff like that. Uh, I'm sure I'm not the only one who's who's, who's uh, talked about the sigil either in a video form or streaming or something like that. So uh, it's a nice little free advertising on their part. But hey, man, they could pass this thing out all they want. I, I give me give me more free trials, Kabam. Give me give me a full 30 days for free, or uh, or bring this back. A few months from now for a week I would love it uh, so yeah good stuff uh, but yeah that's gonna do it for this video thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one take care